So, Scorpio, I have some jealous energy from people around you. Well, they're jealous of this relationship that you're moving towards. So you have this energy that's negotiating right now for what type of mate you want. And it's so good. I mean, what you're getting out of this deal is so good that it's just part of the chemistry to start to cause people to get jealous. Two of Cups. You're happy. Your love is part of this happiness that you're feeling. He's focused on making you happy. That's his agenda. That's his goal. So he only feels good when you feel good. And as long as he wants to feel good, he makes it his job to make you feel better. And I feel like you you have a you have this nurturing energy that's coming in on based on your thoughts and his thoughts as well. That you two want to be in sync in this in this relationship. This starfish, starfish energy is very reminiscent of a celebrity lifestyle. But in this sense, I'm feeling like it's more about how you stay out of the limelight. You go behind the scenes and you make sure you two are taken care of, that your needs are met before you pander to the crowd it's like you're 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 so far away on your own planet people can see you and feel like they're right next to you but your worlds are so far apart from what's going on in your physical environment I feel like it's, it's, it's okay to accept that you believe in a higher power and a higher source, a higher self, because you're really about to dig deeper into this, I'll call it imaginative state, and just a forewarning, once you start to tap into those levels of consciousness, the world reacts in a very jealous way because you're leaving the chaos you're leaving the mundane reality that some people perpetuate in their own lives and try to make it seem as if the world is just you know full of crap and nothing good ever happens but that's just their own life and the more the higher you go the more you elevate the more they're going to try to pull you down and say oh you're delusional oh you're you have psychosis or you know like all of these ways to explain why you being happy is a sickness and it's just this is just a warning that they are full of it okay none nothing that they say it's true. These haters, they're snakes. But in a sense, in a negative sense, because, you know, snakes are just animals. But in a way that people portray the personality of a snake and just sort of being out for himself and doesn't really care about his impact on the environment. But it's just who they are. So you can actually look at this 
as a good sign to know that you're doing something good. If negative people hate you, then, you know, it's a good sign. Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you have all the materials you need right now. All the resources you need, you're connected to it in excess and you're using it. You're very aware of your goings and comings and this love is also a resource being in a higher state of mind himself he's able to elevate with you so don't take this for granted that he can go to those places with you because if this guy wasn't for you he would hate the second you start to elevate but he loves that you are from a higher place. He loves that about you. You are somebody. It's not even just somebody. I feel like this is a soulmate. If he was to pick you out. He would describe you exactly. Someone who can elevate. And not be part of. The low level state of mind, the low level thinking, the low frequencies, because that's just one plane. You can be on so many other planes. So he's courting you right now from his own place in the cosmos. He's attracting you. Who you look at, who you go towards is your mate. Eventually you two come together like two points, like two stars. And the people who are on your trail right now who want to understand what makes you tick and, you know, trying to knock you down a few notches, none of their plans are going to succeed. They're just going to fall from your aura. And the higher they go trying to chase you, the high, it's, it's the longer they have to fall. So they, they're only putting themselves at risk. You have deaths. I feel like you're only going as high as from... as deep as you've been so if you've been in a really really low place then you're going to go to a really really high place because you want that much more for yourself and this is possibly something that you do perpetually knowing that you can go just a little bit higher and sink just a little bit lower you're sort of carving out this massive range if you're a singer, then you understand exactly what you're doing. And it works in many, many other creative outlets where the work that you do is very specific to you, but you interact with the environment and you get and absorb the energy you need. These are your your resources. And it just happens to be negativity. Four of Spears coincides with your King of Pentacles. I feel like you're stable. You're set. Even if it doesn't reflect... On the physical state, you are mentally prepared, you're spiritually prepared, prepared, and that's going to reflect financially as well. 